Okay, today we're going to have a look at the Mini Metro level of my beautiful hometown of Melbourne uh, and the achievement that comes along with this one called Hook Turn, where you need to deliver 1,000 passengers with at least one station on all lines. So what we will do is make that one station this square. Uh, generally there's not going to be too many squares, so we will uh, probably all need all to come through there anyway. Uh, when building lines, the most basic thing you want to do is try and make sure that every line has a circle, square and triangle on it. Uh, this is because these are your most common passengers and you don't want lines having to drop off to other lines. Okay, that's our next triangle. Eventually, we'll look to split these two to two different lines, but uh, we'll just consolidate it as one at the moment. We will give them an extra train, though, for their efforts. Divide up the workload a little bit. Okay, we might just split that into two train lines. Now when building, uh, because the requirement of this level is to um, have all train lines connected to that, generally I recommend when building any line, just start from that point and build out, um, even if it's just as purely a reminder uh, that you do want everything connecting to it. Um, we'll take the carriage on this one, just because they can come in handy. Now ideally what we want is a triangle somewhere on the south side of the river, um, just because for these guys here, if I want to drop off a triangle, they have to take it all the way to the far end of their, um, their route, which is very uh, a waste of time and a waste of space in his, um, in his carriage. Generally I like to take a lot of train lines, but I always find that if I start a week and I already have one train line still uh, waiting to be used, then I can probably hold out another week or so to get uh, the next one. Now I might just try and chuck in this next train line uh, just because it was getting a little taxing on uh, what Aqua was having to do there. Now both of these lines have three in a row. I generally recommend against having this many um, circles in a row or any type of station in a row because obviously they're not going to have circle passengers and so all that your trains are doing in these sections is just collecting more and more passengers and aren't able to get rid of anyone. So hopefully we can get, if we're super lucky, we can have like a triangle station somewhere in this area and uh, then we can have a terminating triangle to, to clean up a lot of that mess. The fact that we already have three lines that have three circles in a row on one end of them 
is uh, yeah, it's not a good layout. Now we're taking the line, but we do also need tunnels coming in soon. Although we've only got one more time of collecting a line, and then we've got them all anyway. Might give that guy to green just because green's getting a little overloaded with uh, its custom passengers. Now that is not going to help Orange's case at all. Uh, we probably need tunnels so that we can take a few of these off uh, each of these two lines. He's a little bit too far up for these guys to take advantage of, but I will anyway. Now what that means is that with these guys dropping triangles as opposed to this guy having to get to here and then take them all the way back, they can now take them coming this way uh, and should be a lot more efficient at cleaning out their um, passengers. Okay, we might just move this guy down here just to help clean up that one for a second. Um, we'll take the tunnels. Just move that guy onto that line. Just we'll let them have the carriage now. Might give them the extra train as well. It's not ideal to have four in a row, but because they have the triangle at the end, it's not too bad for them. Um, now I've got the extra uh, carriages as well, I might actually split this guy up. Um, let's grab a train off. liking this south side at all. Generally this just comes down to luck. Uh, sometimes if you've got this many circles in an area and no um, and no triangles, there's not too much you can do about it. Got a top end triangle, but it looks like only purple can take advantage of that. Speaking of purple, though, we could probably let them ease everyone else's burden down here, too. I'll just give purple an extra train, too, because it'll just become a lot longer. Just jump this guy ahead a bit and let him clear up that one. Now, although um, one thing I actually do find a little bit handy uh, is when you've got all of your uniques actually on one line, because what it means is you can actually just stack that one line to uh, take care of all those unique so that you can like because everything that's going to be dropped in the middle will be going for that one line um, so yeah the easier you can just like put all those big trains on one line the sort of you can don't have to split it out so much okay now we're coming down to it you can see that we're getting passengers a lot quicker at this point but we are only 60 from our goal of uh, 1000 so we'll just keep this guy might get him on the board as well, just to make sure that nothing goes wrong at this point. Now 
And there we have it. Achievement hook turn. Uh, hopefully that gives you some uh, help on your attempts to get it. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Um, I'll keep going with this one, but yeah, there's nothing that you guys need to see. I'm sure I'll crash and burn soon enough. Till next time.